Dow Jones and Nasdaq traded bearish yesterday and has recovered the gains or you can say it is erased the gains from the day before. Now still traded in range failed to drop below 33,900 and US 100 failed to sustain below 12,500 levels. So what to expect today? Can we expect a rise again? Or is it going to trade bearish or is it going to consolidate? Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the next analysis and updates. The next update will be released before the US session. Do watch that also. That is going to be most important here. Now let's have a look at the daily charts for US 100. First we look into Nasdaq 100 followed with Dow Jones. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Note down the levels. Trade as per the level. Now see in yesterday's analysis I told you it is creating a symmetry. It has completed the symmetry and I told you very specifically this zone is going to be very very important for Nasdaq 100 that is 12400 500. Precisely achieving this zone it is try to get the support and recovered here. Now see on the hourly charts after the sharp drop creating the bottom here at 12480 it has tried to retrace. At the same time lower highs are observed and flat bottom is seen. Probably once it trades beyond 12560 see these levels 12560 12600. I told you at this point also see 12560 levels once again the same levels are going to be seen. Once it trades about 12560 expect 12580 and 12600 and if it trades about 12600 certainly little more bullishness will take it till towards 12660 12720 levels there what we had seen earlier because see it is done with the move there everything is done again back to consolidation and it can again trade within this channel itself the highs of this channel are at 12600 12660 levels that is the first part to it now look at the directional movement here is moderately bearish stochastic is overbought and that is why we can see near term red candles there but the MACD is willing to converge crossover for the bullish move it is willing forward to recover RSI is trading at bottom and if you look at 2 hour chart similar observation in the on the 2 hour charts I have told you this also lower highs are seen and probably little bullishness is only if it trades about 12800 that is what we had confirmed now higher lows are also seen. So this is consolidation basically 12750, 12500 is the zone in which it is trying to consolidate for the day. Any breakout if you see today outside or above and below these levels certainly you can consider that as a directional or decisive move here. Directional movement here is bearish stochastic was oversold it has recovered a bit. Look at the MACD this is in red trying to converge from here. And the RSI is again looking down. It is seen at the almost bottom there and now trading at comfortable levels. Now look at the 3 hour charts. Likewise on the 3 hour charts it is just a consolidation in the long term. And possibly any breakout above 12,750 and 800 certainly be a very good indication for the day. And on the downside 12,500 levels. Similar observation nothing different. Directional movement crossing over for the buy entry here. Stock ISTIC is oversold. The MACD is bearish, divergent, probably it may start converging here. RSI has seen a little drop there. And if you look at 4 R charts, now look at 4 R charts. See, on the 4 R charts specifically, I can see a reversal candle. Once it trades beyond 12,560, certainly you can expect that we may see 12,600. And once it breaks beyond 12,600, 12,660, 12,720 are the targets. So I can see a little reversal sign on the 4 hour charts. Let's see how far it can stretch. It stretches. Certainly 12,580,600 may be seen and beyond that little more bullishness will be confirmed. Now if you look at the directional movement is moderately bullish. Stochastic trading oversold. The MACD divergent and bearish it is looking forward to converge. The RSI trading flat and if you look at the daily charts. Now see on the daily charts also similar reflection lower highs for the two candles higher lows for the two candles. 
so first thing is it has to break below 12500 in order to trade bearish and then 12450 400 if these two le uh, levels are taken today you can expect we may see 12300 in fact 12200 levels also because right now it is just trying to consolidate here and probably a breakout any which ways is going to be a decisive one if not today possibly tomorrow or maybe next week now see directional movement here is bullish divergent stochastic has seen a little drop MACD is willing to converge crossover and probably now see this crossover if it happens this is happening at a little high so it can try to trade a little bearish here probably can come back till towards these levels before it tries to trade bullish RSI looking down and hence you have to be cautious with the levels there any breakout below 12500 and then specifically 12450 12400 if these two levels are taken we can remain bearish for the next couple of days also you can expect 12300 12200 and then the my next strongest support zone at 12000 12100 levels till that time one can stay bullish and on the upside now right now it is trying to show you a recovery possibly 1260 720 750 levels again going to be a good resistance beyond that only little bullishness is confirmed you can enjoy the swings in between these levels and you have to trade as per the stop losses there and with the trailing stop losses if it's a buy entry you should buy if it's a sell entry you should sell take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at us 30 now see dow jones on the early charts if you connect the dots here lower highs means 34 100 lower lows are seen in this candle and this is a bearish zone a bearish channel in which it is trying to trade now for the day 34 100 33 800 levels are need to be observed here now see on the early charts also right now it is given a breakout here few bullish candles and once it trades beyond this zone at 34 060 you can buy for 34100 and once it trades above 34100 you can confirm for little more bullishness that is first part now look at directional movement moderately bearish stock i stick is overbought the MACD is looking forward to converge crossover for the buy entry here and the rsi is trading flat almost flat there and if you look at two hour chart now see on the two hour charts look at these candles almost flat bottom and this also signifies that yes you can sell today at 33980 but then 33950 900 very strong support then 850 and 800 the next strongest support below 33800 it will talk in terms of 100 then you can see 33700 600 500 400 till 400 very very good support exist here it is trying to recover a bit it is trying to trade up with a modest bullish bias wait for it to break past 34060 and then you can expect 34100 and beyond 34100 only little more bullishness will be seen there now see directional movement crossing over for the buys stochastic rising the MACD is bearish trying to converge here and the rsi is trading flat with a slight bullish bias and if you look at 3 hour charts likewise on the 3 hour charts very much into into the consolidation zone and hence 34 100 150 till here till it breaks about 34 200 do not consider this as bullish this is also clear but at the same time look at the movement here flat bottom see rise retracement higher highs retracement and higher low so on the long term it is still trading slight bullish here so on the downside for the day 33980 levels below which little bearishness is confirmed but then 33950900 very very strong support exists there directional movement moderately bearish stochastic has seen a drop trying to rise macd if you see macd has crossed over here and trading with very little divergence rsi is trading flat and if you look at 4 hour chart now see on the 4 hour charts there is a little reversal however these two candles lower highs are consistently seen so once it breaks past 34060 you can buy for 34100 but remember till 34200 levels should not be considered for a breakout and should not be considered for a bullish move there and hence on the downside also below 33980 you can sell for 339500 and then 800 and once it draws below 800 it can complete the journey on the downside till towards 33500 levels also this is possible 
Now see directional movement here is bearish stochastic at bottom trying to recover. MACD is in green trying to cross over. RSI is trading flat. And if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts you can see good swings are seen. Higher lows, higher highs are seen. The 20 and 50 period moving averages are trading with little divergence here. Are trading little bullish here. But at the same time, the 100 period moving average is now a little far below. So on the downside, there are supports. The first support will come into picture at 33,800 and then 33,550 is 500 levels. If these two are taken, then only little more bearishness is confirmed. Right now, it is into consolidation phase. Lower highs, higher lows are seen for the day. Yes, 33,800, 33,700 levels going to be very, very good support. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic rising, the MACD is in green, RSI trading flat. Considering this, for the day, you can buy at 34.060, expect 34.100 levels and beyond 34.100 only, little more bullishness is confirmed. And then, yes, once it breaks past 34.200, certainly you can say that it is a breakout and it may rise more beyond 34.350-400 levels. On the downside, once it drops below 34,000 levels and in fact I will say 33,980 to be precise below that till 33,950 first support and then 33,900 next support only below 33,900 you can confirm that there is a bearish move which is going to be seen 33,800, 700 and below that further drop might take it till towards 33,500 levels. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Join my signals group. Join my mentorship badge. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.